Hello everyone and welcome back to Freshers Now channel. Today's video is especially going to be to all the SEO professionals out there. So if you have already stepped into the career or the role of an SEO analyst, ensure that you are working along uh, with a team or with a group of members who are already delivering a set of content to the set of audience. You should always be well aware about your audience as well as the content that you are able to deliver. And balancing between both of this, you should also be well aware as to how you are proceeding out with your content on a productive basis. Now, is this video going to be helpful for the beginners or mid-level career individuals? Well, yes, this is not only dedicated to all the professionals or targeted to SEO professionals or the role of an SEO professional. But this video is also going to be helpful for all of the candidates who are looking forward to step into SEO. So not only getting into this role being an eligible person in delivering out a productive targeted content, but you should also be well aware about the trends and the evolutionary marketplaces that been evolutionizing as being in SEO. So this marketplace of SEO is considered to be a varied uh, or considered to be and a profound place that targets a large set of audience on a particular content basis. So with that note, a beginner or a mid-level career person or even a professional, whoever you might be, you should always consider that stepping into the role means that you are well aware about all the various other parameters and components that are being aligned into the role. With that note, we would be first beginning off with the definition so that you would get a mere confidence to step into the the role as well as do not forget as usual we are also going to cover the major part which is how you are being paid so the major part of the question is the pay so considering that do not skip the video and watch the video till the end because every section of the video is going to speak to you and answer your questions with that note let us begin with the first section which is the introduction or you can also say that who is this person uh, you can and the question is who is a ceo professional or you can also call it a search engine optimization professional which is going to be a lengthy word so an seo professional is going to be responsible for analyzing reviewing and implementing relevant changes to websites and ensure that they are ranked well in search engines so in order to do this you need to know your target audience you need to know what is the content that you're delivering you need to know how you are specializing in your role and the content that you are bringing out to your audience only then you can understand what you are working for that website and how you are bringing out that website and why you need your audience to look into your website. So all of these other basic foundations has to be taken care of and person who is in SEO role. So this is going to be a major part, right? So if you are considering to become one, consider some of these skills which I'll be showing you here. Web marketing, SEO, critical thinking, data skills, uh, motivation and adaptability drive and analytical skills, technical and programming skills. So why are these necessary? As I've mentioned, it is not only just reviewing or looking out into the website or making your website to rank well in search engines. So this is an outer phase. What is the inner core of this role? The inner core stabilizes with these skills mentioned here. You should be able to know the stability that you are bringing to your audience, the way that you are grabbing the audience perspective, plus answering uh, audience friendly content, as well as you should be well aware as to what kind of content that you're bringing to your audience with that you would be also be helpful in order to deliver the content on a rankful basis so you should make sure that not only just delivering content out there you should know how your content is being delivered plus whitelist you would be also be making sure that it is ranking well so that it is reaching out more people so that they can understand your website and the product of the content that you are bringing out to the market so how does uh, this pick this person can evolutionize himself or herself now if you are a beginner or even even if you are in a mid level career or even if you are a professional you can consider the next slide which is going to be what does this person actually do so if you are already in this role fine good for you if you are a beginner 
if you are like thinking whether I should step into uh, working in an SEO team or working as the, as an SEO analyst or working in especially on and having a hands-on experience on SEO. So if you are a person who is thinking like that, consider these point. Search engine optimization professionals are going to be responsible for implementing a variety of SEO strategies. So what are these SEO strategies? They can be how the content is being delivered plus as well as how you are making ways to uh, professionalize your website, putting out in the market, evolutionizing with various trends, using the right hashtags as well as various other trends which the website needs and then you can also be looking into the client's perspective if you're already working for another website or working for a client who is holding a website and then either independently or within an organization now if you are already a professional then you're good to go because you are you're already having that hands-on experience plus you have to be well aware about the various evolution rising techniques or strategies that are being popping out on a daily basis but if you are a beginner consider that fact plus you should also be well aware about how you are implementing the strategies what are the various tools that you are using in order to make sure that your uh, SEO is built up to a higher level so all of this is taken into consideration now if you are looking forward to become one you can consider these points. Having in-depth of knowledge of Google tools such as GA, GSC as well as other analytical tools is always going to be helpful. Knowledge of CSS and HTML are considered to be a mandatory part of the role and then critical thinking, analyzing, researching are considered to be the must core basis of an SEO professional. So without these, a person cannot step forward. Now, even if you're a beginner, even if you're like looking forward to land as a professional, you have to cross over two areas of your life in order to become a professional in SEO. So in order to become a professional, so you should be making sure that you are having the right amount of strategies using the right set of skills plus the exact tools that are necessary in order to ace your SEO team or SEO working skills. Then we are stepping into the next part which is going to be what are the different job roles which are aligned with it. So considering the fact that some of the job roles uh, which can be considered amongst or in midst of uh, an SEO is implementing SEO strategies uh, with target goals in mind and then analyze page hits and other data which you should be always having a reportive collective upon and then conduct keywords and market research and serve chief subject and also you have to have subject knowledge expert in SEO copy edit check the branding and how it is being communicated further and it also needs other writers and marketing specialists in order to produce the content deliver the content make the content reach the targeted audience on a daily basis so this is how an SEO would be working and being a professional enough is not an easy go because there are a ton lot of things that he or she needs to be taken care of and apart from this so now that you have understood all the basic criteria we would be now stepping into the main part of the video which is going to answer your question which is how they are being paid how is the professional life look going to look like so to answer that we are going to look into the average pay for an SEO professional is one lakh seventy six thousand a good start off now do not stick to the amount that okay I'll be paying only this menial amount of money and I will not be heading over to the higher range but if you look at this professional graph, you can eventually have an idea as to how you can become one. Now, your wise, it is not considering that it is your wise. It's considering as to how far you have been gone. Like for some, considering the right set of tools or implementing the right uh, SEO strategies, you can eventually get into that stand of taking it or taking that particular website to a professional level within a month, within two months or within six months at least. So your graph eventually would, would be taking a leap, right? So if you have, if you want to know more about uh, your pay into whichever location that you are in, consider the location wise pay skills. So some of them might be just few, uh, briefly I'll be covering up so that you would be getting an idea only. So in Hyderabad, they are paid 2,51,000 per annum. 
now crossing out the average pace when we consider the whole country itself why is it so because every country every uh, place would be different every organization would be different from the pay as well as it would be different as to from website to website for some it would be uh, app optimizing on a regular basis for some it might be optimizing on a weekly basis it depends upon the content that you're de delivering plus the audience who are viewing uh, considering websites like uh, medicine or medical kind of things should be optimized on a daily basis and regarding education as well considering these education part uh, jobs notifications all of this has to be put out to the market on a regular and an instant basis for such you need an seo on a very professional working space and for some there might be a week gap in between so it depends right and then in uh, the next place in pune it's two lakhs eighty seven thousand and next in chennai three lakhs per annum again highest paid indeed and the next one is in bangalore four lakhs sixty eight thousand per annum a very higher pay because bangalore we all know is considered to be a place of international opportunities so you can consider yourself being highly paid in bangalore not that you have to shift but it depends upon the place to place and company to company or organizations that you are delivering your skills upon also i if you have any sort of suggestions make sure that you put down in the comment section and if you know anything more about seo or if you're already a working professional in seo you can place down your uh, thoughts as well so that even others would know and we would also come to know about more other facts about seo professionals and any questions please place them in the comment section we'll be happy to answer you thank you so much for watching till the end and sticking on with us do not forget to subscribe to our channel Precious Now for more informative videos like this and thank you so much for watching.